So to Right when I was starting my vlog, I got one of the scariest phone calls of my life. Is this Alex Ernst? Yeah. Yes. Hi there, my name is Michael. I work for the government. You owe seven thousand dollars on taxes this year. I'm gonna just double check that one more time. Yep, seven thousand dollars. You owe seven thousand dollars on taxes this year. This guy ended up saying to pay my taxes, I'd have to go to the store and get a bunch of gift cards and send them to him in the mail. But I already did this last week. I can't afford to pay the government again, so I have no choice but to change my identity. I'm going to do that tomorrow, though, because I have one last thing to do as Alex Ernst. And that was to go out and go to an Angels baseball game, dressed as... An angel. Long story short, it was the best day I've ever lived as Alex Ernst. Couldn't get any better than this. The next day I went to a motel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Because today was the day I was going to change my identity. And going to a motel would be the last place anybody would ever expect me, Alex Ernst, to ever be. The first thing I had to do when I got into my room was I had to get into my bag, because inside was the secret weapon. What was it, you may ask? Well, it was, uh, a razor. I shaved my head, because shaving my head was going to cause no one to recognize me anymore. After I shaved my head, I put some of my hair into a plastic baggie. I wanted to blend in, so I got dressed into the perfect outfit. One Alex Ernst wouldn't be caught dead wearing. I had to get loose, so I took a shot of apple cider vinegar. After that, I cleaned up whatever mess I had left with my hair. Then I started cleaning other things, things I didn't even touch. See, I can't just start cleaning one thing and not, not clean everything. It's a, you know, it's a problem. Now that my identity was changed, I had to do one last thing. And that was to go out and fake the death of Alex Ernst. To do this, I had to go to a fairly deserted location. Once I found it, it started to rain. I put my hair in the glove box and I left the vehicle. I waited for the rain to leave and then I blew up my car. After I blew up my car, I went down to check out the damage. I wanted to make sure they'd find my hair and think that I'm dead. It was gonna be a long walk back to the motel. But then I remembered, my grandma gave me this portable radio, so I was going to be easily entertained. This is a public service announcement. Watch out for tax scammers. They try to get you to give them money over the phone, but they don't even work for the government. So don't freak out if they call you. Don't go, you know, change your identity, shaving your head, blowing up your car or anything like that. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty ridiculous.